All right. It is good to be back. So, I'm gonna head over here. Chill, dude, chill. And let's open this. Oop. Chest. It was over here, wasn't it? No. Is this it? Ah. Okay. Let's see treatment notes. Latulence. Rhubarb. Okay. Uh, the treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. Well, that was not as useful as I was hoping it would be. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to my money, steal that, and then I think what I can probably do is use my money to pay the debt uh, the, that guy that jumped, I can't remember his name, uh, the debt that he has to this guy. Um, but I don't know how much that is, but yeah, so let's just, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ooh, there's Sentius. So we get to see what he does. We must get to the shrine. Ah! Ow. Come on, man, do your thing. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Uh, let's see. I'm arbitrary. I need to take care of some things urgently. Uh, there. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for in there. Oh, there you go. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. That's it. Now go as fast as you can. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. I'm awesome. Okay, there we go. That's... <laughs> okay, so let's go save this lady. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. Uh, I have Silphium resin. Here, take a little. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Yes. Um, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Ah, uh, look, if you don't want to tell me, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But no matter. That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see, can we talk about Yulia? Oh, I keep hearing statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. Sorry, 
I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nivia, and uh, she went a little mad. Yeah, you're telling me. Forget I said anything. Anything about what? <laughs> What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Nevia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. So, definitely there's something going on with the river, but I'm doubling down. I think we're all dead, uh, and that one lady that we talked to is Karen. Um, so either in disguise or just the developer's interpretation of them. Uh, as I was watching the first episode with my kids and, uh, she says that she's, what was it? A dead end job with an endless commute. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. That's fair. Let's see, why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Let's see, tell me more about Navia. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician, but she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too, until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Let's see. Uh, who? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Let's see. Uh, actually, I already figured out the treatment for rheumatism. You did? That's unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Yeah, I kind of figured it was that guy. 
So, so far, I don't think I've seen any real game purpose for being able to look at this stuff, but I'm sure there's going to be a puzzle at some point. Okay, all right, I can do that. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Let's see, do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Hmm. What do you think about the golden rule? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Hmm. That's probably one of the more interesting answers I've gotten for that one. Can we talk about you, Leah? Sure. What do you want to know? Uh... Do, did you hear her say anything about escaping? Yeah. Uh, how did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. Hmm. Do you think she was poisoned or was it self-inflict- Ah, uh, ha ha ha. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule and... So maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Yeah, I wonder if that's what, um... Oh, I forget her name now, the one that disappeared. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Uh, I'll be going now. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Ooh, good, she's awake. Uh-oh. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Uh, can I ask what happened to you? As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. Hmm. I want to know how someone poisoned you without breaking the golden rule. The golden rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Huh. Is that who poisoned you? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I can't help unless you tell me what happened. <sighs> Persistent as nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. <laughs> I have all the time in the world. I don't want the short version. All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Why would he lend you so much money, thinking you'd be out of here before you ever had to pay back the loan? Hmm do this one. Why would he lend you so much money? This feels too accusatory. I had to sign an agreement saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia. And she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. Yeah. Oh no. It Hemlock kill you if you didn't know that drink this she said and you'll be out of here in no time of course i demanded my money back but she refused she pointed to a sign on her tavern saying 
let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Let's see, surely that would have broken the golden rule. Uh, did you try to get out of it? Um, golden rule. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, You missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. So you poisoned yourself. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. Man, what's interesting is Maliolus is all upset about the golden rule, but then he used it on her. Or at least the idea of it. Man. Uh, well, I don't think that's true. I'm so sorry to hear that. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Let's see. So what'll happen to you now? When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. Only this time. I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Let's see, I'm sorry, can I do anything to help? I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Let's see. Ooh. So do I want to save her? Hmm. I, I tell you, everybody is way too into a thousand Inari. I see, how much would it cost to buy your freedom? A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Perhaps I can help him, too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are, or why you seem so determined to help me, but... Thank you. Um... I'll get right on it. Okay. So. Hmm. A golden bow. Just like Apollo and Diana. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is try, see if there's some new options to try to convince him not to jump, uh, since uh, Yulia didn't 
Um, and then maybe I can deal with freeing them later. But yeah, man. Maliolus. What a guy. Let's see. Where's my mouse? There it is. All right. Thank you. And please. Yeah, I know. Okay. Is this what Centilla would want? You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Let's see. I've already saved Yulia's life, and I'd like to help you too. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Uh-oh. Well, no, but I could probably raise the money if you gave me some time. No. No. Time's up. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh, Lord. Poor lamb. Um, what happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Shoot, okay. How much do I have? Uh. Oh, let's see. Oh, so close. Okay. So, so that's how to, okay, so the money is how to deal with that, because obviously, you know, on my way up here, one of the statues said to go against the current. Yeah, let's head down there. Um, but yeah. So the money is going to be for saving those two. Obviously that bar chick uh I don't need to give her money it's exactly what I thought now I'm curious let's see okay so I keep my money but then everywhere that there is money it comes back. Oh, that's too bad. I could have saved him. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, I know I can. So. Let's go see what's going on with this, uh. This river. So she weeps where the water flows. And then go upstream, apparently. Well, that's not the spot. Oh, oh, it's this. Bunch of goose eggs laid by the city's goose. Well, it's not stealing. Hmm. It's obviously for something, so. That doesn't seem to be anything. What about down here? No. Oh, well, I'm going to get some more money since I'm here. And then, yeah, I can do that here. I think I'm going to go into that bar and explore that a little bit more. Oops. Oh, 
Well, I definitely have enough money to save him now. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. And then... Yeah, who are you? So that's another thing I was thinking about. It's clearly one person that's making use of the statues. And so I wonder who that is. I've never gone up there either. Yeah, let's check out the bar. Because I didn't really explore everything. What do we got here? A poem by Galerius. My life has been torturous as the seven labors of Hercules, orphaned, defeated, and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly, because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought to me uh, brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame, but to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow is enough. You know, I could, I could confront her about being a horrible human being. Oop. That's not the right button. Ooh. An ancient Roman cavalry helmet with an enclosed face mask and plume made of dyed horse hair. Yeah, the, the lady in... Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Ooh. a deer over a cold... A wooden model of a Roman arena, lovingly crafted by someone who misses the outside world. Imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? <sighs> oh, look at that. I wonder where that goes. Oh, creepy. Let's see, key to the chest in the Shrine of Apollo. Oh. Oh, is this just where everybody lives? Hmm. Rack. Various dried and ground substances. Let's see what do we got over here? Doll, a rudimentary doll. It looks like it has been well loved. Hmm. What's this? Filthy, foul smelling. Sleeping mat of somebody's living in poverty. Oh, this really. Oh, wow. Who is she? Okay. 